Hey there. So, is there anything on your mind that you want to share with me? What's that supposed to mean, James? Seriously? No, good afternoon, or how's work going? Or even, have you had lunch? Just a plain, nasty old question? Is that how you talk to your wife? Well, it's just that you seemed a bit distant. And I thought maybe there was something you wanted to talk about. I still don't get what you're getting at, James. Why would I have something to tell you and not tell you directly? Does that mean you weren't planning on telling me that you cheated on me with James? I had to find out about it myself. What? What? Cheating on you with that slimy driver? Are you serious? Do you really think so lowly of me? He's just as young as Mark, for God's sake. What's this? Well, that means nothing. Oh, does it, Eri? Well, let me tell you that I had a hunch that you were up to no good. Fooling around behind my back with other men. So, I paid James to lure you in. And guess what? It worked. You did what? Yes, I did it. And frankly, I think it's justified. I just landed a major deal with Elevron Oil and Gas Limited. The contract comes with a whole bunch of new privileges. And I know how power hungry someone like you can get. I'm not about to share all my hard work and success with a woman who knows nothing about loyalty. You might as well expose me to one of the big shots in the industry and ruin everything I've worked for. Just for your own personal satisfaction. How can you even think of me that way, James? Why would I want to ruin my own husband? Oh, don't act like you haven't done it before, Eri. You're wicked and ungrateful. All you do is waste my money and make me out to be the bad guy in front of our friends and family. But, Nikki. And now, to top it all off, you cheat on me. And with young, penniless boys too. And don't you dare call me Nikki. You utterly disgust me. Well, that was just one time when we were going through issues. And I thought you were cheating on me. I had to get back at you somehow. And who's to say you wouldn't do it again, huh? Oh, let's not get all emotional and work up now, James. We can sort this out when I get back from my trip to Dubai, okay? There will be no need for that anymore, Eri. I already sent in your copy of the divorce papers. I need them signed, scanned, and sent back to me in 24 hours. Or else I will call the police and have you arrested. James, calm down. You don't have to be this rash. James was a mistake, I promise. Okay, um, just wait a second. Let me place a call across to you. We may understand each other better that way. Goodbye, Eri. Hey girl, I've got some great news for you. That may have to wait now, Becky. Why? Did something happen? That which I greatly feared has befallen me. Oh, come on. Don't go all Aristotle on me now. Tell me in simple English. What's the matter? James is breaking up with me. Breaking up or getting a divorce? A divorce. Oh, wow. That's so sad to hear. Did he find out about your affair with the driver? He didn't find out. He planned the entire ordeal. What? My reaction, exactly. James paid James to lure me in and sleep with me. How could he do that? That is so despicable and shameless. I'm so confused right now. I don't even know what to do. It's not like I regret having an affair with Jamie. I just didn't want my husband to find out, much less be the mastermind behind the entire case. Now he's seeking a divorce. Who's going to pay my bills and fund my expensive lifestyle now? Men can be very ruthless at times. And this might just be my last visit to Dubai. And, ugh, what annoys me the most is the fact that he's acting like he's a saint. Like he doesn't even have a hand in this. I don't understand. I am his wife, or at least I was. But I am human either way, and not some filthy furniture. Of course, but... That was how James treated me, Becky. Like furniture. 
All he ever cared about was his business, his contracts, and all of his silly money. He never cared about me as a person. He never cared if I was alive or dead, happy or sad. I had three miscarriages, Becky. Three miscarriages. Two before and one after Mark. But he never knew. He never even cared. That's terrible. All he ever did was pounce on me when he wanted. And that would be it. Goodbye till next season. And now he just wants to throw you away like you're a piece of trash? Isn't that what I have always been to him? If you asked him, he would most likely say he had the right, because he picked me from the dump and afforded me the luxury I now enjoy. Ugh, I don't deserve this treatment, Becky. I only cheated a couple of times, but I've been with him through thick and thin. I have even given him a bright young son to carry on his name. All I wanted was love. Is that too much to ask? No, Aerie. It's not. Come on. Don't cry. You're talking as if you don't have a say in this matter. What do you mean? Well, you may have lost your respect, your pride, and your dignity, but you still have your son. Mark? What does he have to do with all this? He is your key to getting back all you have lost, Ari. Really? Explain. James wants you gone, but not his son. Why? Because... As you said, he needs Mark to continue his bloodline and empire. If you have your son, then you've lost nothing. Hmm. Hmm. You are making a lot of sense right now, Becky. That's new. <laughs> Come off it, Aerie. Just make sure you gain custody of your son. It's all going to be good. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for coming through for me every time, girl. <laughs> so, enough about me. What was it you wanted to tell me then? I don't think I want to tell you anymore. Why? I just think it might be a little inconsiderate given the circumstances. Ugh, come on, Becky. Don't let me rain on your parade. Tell me. Oh, could it be what I'm thinking? Yeah, kinda. Oh my god, Becky! He proposed? Yes, I'm finally going to be his wife. Oh my. Wow, girl, the ring is totally out of this world. You have got a big fish. He seems to have a lot of money. Yeah, he does. But I'm not doing this just for the money, you know. Ugh, cut me the crap. Anyone who knows you knows that everything you do is for the money. No, no, no. For real this time. I really love this guy. I have always loved him. So how come I do not know him? Tell me, Becky. When do I get to meet my friend-in-law? Soon, Eri. Very soon. Okay. I believe you. I'm really happy for you, babes. We've been waiting for this for ages. I know, right? You've really been through a lot for this guy. It was high time he put a ring on it. What do you mean? Why are you talking like you've forgotten? All the pregnancies? Well, he asked me to get rid of them because he wasn't ready yet. Three pregnancies, Becky. Whatever. Don't judge me. I'm just glad it's all over now. We need to get to the wedding planning right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm really sorry for what happened with James. Hmm. Just make sure you play the cards you've been dealt. Well, James has got nothing on you. Yeah. Thanks. I'll think about it. Chat with you later, okay? All right, be good. Bye. What's this nonsense I see you have done, Eri? Uh, hi? Why did it take you so long to reply to my texts? Excuse me, Mr. James? The last time I checked, I was no longer your wife. I don't owe you the duty of taking your calls or responding to your texts. This is precisely why I divorced you in the first place. Whatever. Why have you filed for custody of Mark without my consent? Because he is my son, and I have the right to do whatever I please. Besides, he's still underage, and I would not want him growing into a man without proper guidance. Eight years old is not underage, Eri. The boy can choose who he wants to be with. We do not even have to get the law involved. 
because Mark is a minor under state law. He has to be with his mother. So you're saying I cannot take care of my son? I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't want my son learning to be a psychopath. His father proved to be one. Paying people to drag others through the mud. Did you really have to state that in the court papers as well? Why not? You're just as much of a psychopath as you accuse me of being. See, um, James, unlike you, I'm a very busy woman. If this is all you called to tell me, then I have more important things to attend to. You can never get custody of Mark. That's my heir, my only son. Besides, you do not have the resources needed to take care of him. Well, luckily for me, Mr. Billionaire, the court will choose mental stability over financial stability any day. As long as child custody is concerned. So forget about your son. He's mine for the keeps. And because you're his father, you're still going to pay child support, by the way. So I gain all. And you lose. <laughs> you're a crazy person, Eri. Whatever. You think you can get rid of me just like a measly piece of property. Get out of my phone, then. We'll see who gets the last laugh. Hi, bro. Been trying to reach you. Got a sec? Hey, Andy. What's up? Your phone's been switched off all day. Yeah, I just needed some time to myself. Okay, that's weird. Why? I'm not sure why you would need to do that, but it's all good. Great party last night, by the way. Thanks, bro. Wanted to hang out after the other guys had left, but you were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I had to leave the house. That was the only way I could distract my mom. Okay. So, where did you go? That's for me to know, and for you to shut up. Oh, is that how we roll now? But off. I'm your best friend, Mark. You can't be doing things like this without letting me know. Who's going to have your back? It's no biggie, Andy. I knew my life would change after my 18th birthday, so... I had to devise a way to leave as soon as possible. What do you mean? For the past 10 years, my mother has been telling me that she would take me back home when I turn 18. To your dad? Yeah, she wants me to take my rightful position as heir to his business empire. Isn't that a great thing? I heard your father's the biggest in the city. He's got businesses and properties all over the nation. All that's going to be yours soon. My best buddy is going to be a billionaire overnight. You should be happy. It's not about me, Andy. Nothing my mother does is ever about me. She only wants to get back at my father for doing her dirty years ago. She's been waiting for this for ages. Even if it is about her, I don't see what's so bad about it. You can take your cut and give her hers. Three can definitely play this game. <laughs> but I do not want to play any games. I don't even want to take over my father's business at all. What do you want to do then? I'm a photographer, Andy. I love nature, I love earth and everything about it. I just want to tour the world and take pictures. Again, I do not want to do anything with a man as selfish as my father. He didn't want me. He didn't even fight for me. I've not seen him in an entire decade. And then all of a sudden I have to go back? Hmm. Well, you are an adult now. I can't tell you what to do. And neither should your mom. Just... Do you, and follow your heart. Most of all, you have to stay safe. Come stay with me even. I promise, I won't snitch. Where are you, Mark? Why have you blocked me? I can see you've read my texts. Say something. Hi, Mom. Where are you? You don't need to know. You left the house? And you didn't even care to tell me? I'm an adult now, Mom. You said that yourself. That doesn't mean I'm no longer your mother. I left the house because I do not want to do what you want me to do. I know you have been grooming me for your mega revenge. But I refuse to be moved by your whims and caprices. Come on, Mark. Stop being a baby. I'm being a baby? What about you, Mom? Are you also not being childish? Do not talk to me in that way, Mark. 
You're the one who wants to use your only son to get at your ex-husband, aren't you? You are the one who wants to use your child to take over his father's hard work, all for your personal gain. Shut up, child. You do not know anything about your father and I. Of course I do, Mom. And I also know that two wrongs never make a right. If Dad is really a pig as you claim him to be, you do not need to make yourself one as well by playing his dirty games. I am disappointed in you, Mark. I have invested so much in you. Send you to the best of schools as much as I could. I indulged you, gave you everything you've ever asked for. Why can't you do this one thing for me? Because I do not want to. Huh? You're so ungrateful, Mark. Whatever, Mom. Please don't contact me ever again. Good luck with your mission. Ugh. Hi, Becky. I know it's been a while since we last spoke, but there's something I urgently need to tell you. Please let me know when you're free. Miriam, it's been ages indeed. Yeah. Sorry I missed your calls. I've been busy with Lauren's 10th birthday. What's up? It's Mark. He's ruining the plan. He's not going to do what I asked him to do. What has he done again? He left home. He says he wants to be a photographer instead. A what? I mean... Why would he want to do that when he can have a life worth millions of dollars? I don't know. I've been waiting for this day forever. When I'll pay James back in his own coin for all the evil he did to me in the past. Now Mark wants to ruin it all for me. I don't know what to do. Now, Ari, this is really not something to cry about. I keep telling you, whenever you are faced with such situations, ask yourself, what will Becky do? <laughs> I'm really not in the mood for jokes, Becky. I'm sorry about that. But on a more serious note, Merck is an adult now. You cannot force him to do what you want. So, how do I make him stay on track? You can cajole him. Cajole him? Yeah, make him do what you want by agreeing to what he wants. Call him, talk to him nicely. Tell him you understand his decisions and that you will give him your support. Okay. Ask him to come home and promise that you will never raise the topic of returning to his father ever again. Tell him you just want to have him around because he's your son. Coax him. Give him whatever he asks for. You know the work. And how is that supposed to help me achieve my goal? After a while, ask him again to do your bidding. Try to come to a compromise. Something he will accept. And what if he still doesn't comply? Then we go the hard route. The hard route? What does that mean? Oh my god. Becky, you always come through every time. <laughs> you can say that again, girl. I'm always pulling through. I know, right? Just keep me posted on every event that goes down. You bet I will. Also, if need be, let me know and I'll tell you exactly which one to buy. Chit chat some other time, okay? My husband's calling. Okay. You're such a lucky girl. Talk to you later. Hello, sweet son. Hope you had a great day today. I'm really sorry I wasn't home when you returned. Yes, I did. Good evening, Mom. I bet you took great pictures on the hike. You'll show them to me later, won't you? Of course. We may even enlarge some of them to display. <laughs> I guess. I left some food for you in the microwave. I hope you found it. Yes, thank you. Why do you sound so cold? I don't know. I just kind of feel some way in my tummy. Oh, how does it feel? Nasty, and it feels like it's creeping up my spine. I can't feel my legs. What? I can't feel my legs, Mom. What? I started feeling this way after eating the food from the microwave. Did you heat it up? Yes. Why can't I move my legs? Did you put something in my food? Why would you ask me such a nasty question, child? Mom, you poisoned me? I did not poison you. Stop lying. The food was laced. Mark. I should have known you were up to something when you asked me to come home. I can't move my legs anymore, Mom. You've crippled me! Oh, 
Stop being a crybaby. So it's true. I have been nothing but good to you, Mark. I've given you all you have ever wanted. I've nurtured you, groomed and loved you. I only hope that one day you will avenge me. Can you not do this some other way? Why do I have to suffer for something I know nothing about? What will you gain from crippling me? I had to do something about your stubbornness. Don't think I did this for nothing. The sooner you agree to my demands, the sooner I give you the antidote and you'll be able to walk again. But if you continue being a bumhead, whatever you are seeing now is just the tip of the iceberg. You are so evil. Evil? Me? <laughs> oh, don't be silly. I'm just being proactive, son. You should try to be like me sometimes. I'll never be like you. Oh, oh my god. Mark, I never knew I gave birth to a weakling. I worked with your father from scratch to earn all he has now. And we cannot let his new wife and her stupid ten-year-old son reap where they did not sow. I'm just asking you to go take what is rightfully yours. I don't want any of his filthy money. But I do. Go get it yourself, then. Well, you either help me get it or duffer forever for disobeying me. I hate you. You've numbed my feet. You don't have to get so touchy on the subject, son. Just think about it. Hi, bro. Just got off school. How was it? Good. Sort of. Was saying, I dropped by your house to see how you're doing a little later. That'd be great. How's your legs? It's just been getting worse every day. I can no longer move at all. My life's just been miserable. I'm sorry about that. I promise, I've been studying specs of the plates you gave me to find out what caused your paralysis. I'll get you the antidote as soon as I can. Thank you, Andy. Something has been bothering me, by the way. What's that? This morning, I got a text from a private number. It was just one picture in it. This is somebody's diary. My mom's. From 19 years ago. It says you're not your father's son. What? I wouldn't say I'm surprised. My mom's a crazy person. She can do anything just to have her way. It says here that your father was a cleaner at a restaurant. He did not have the money to take care of the babies, so she pushed it on my dad. And she never stopped seeing him. I'm just sad that I have to suffer for something that's entirely none of my business. I'm so pissed right now. Call your mom. Tell her you know her secret now. Tell her to give you the antidote. Enough of this madness. I think I'll wait for her to come home first. We need to talk about this face to face. I might just blow a bottle on her thick skull. Please be careful, Mark. Don't do anything crazy and don't hurt yourself. I'll be at the house soon. It's okay. Bye. Hello, James. I know you've forgotten about me, but I'm also not here to chit-chat. Just wanted to let you know that I'll be coming back to the city with our son. He's coming to take over all you have and all that is rightfully his. Are you not supposed to be taking care of your crippled son? Who are you, and how do you know my business? Who do you think I am? Oh, I see. You're his silly new wife. Silly? <laughs> Not really, but new nonetheless. See? I don't want you bringing your bastard son anywhere near my husband or my child. Do you understand me? Don't you dare call my son a bastard. But is he not? Oh, come on, Ari. We both know Mark isn't Nicholas. Enough with the games. Wait. Who is this? You still want to play the fool? Enough with the card games already, Aerie. Who else would know that you got pregnant from David and pinned it on Nicholas? Becky? Finally. Jeez. That took a heck of a while. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind right now. So it's been you all along. You're the new wife. I thought we were friends. Keep thinking, sissy. I could never be friends with a woman who betrayed my trust. You married the man you knew I loved just to cover up your bastard son. But you told me you were over him, Becky. Why are you doing this? I could never be over him. As it turns out, he couldn't get over me either. We just needed a way to get rid of you. 
What? Why do you think I encouraged you to sleep with James? Because I wanted my friend to feel better? Heck no. Oh my god. Becky! I planned it all. I asked James to play the prank on you. He's been with me all along. Why do you think I never showed you the man I was dating? And why do you think I also asked you to move miles away from the city after the divorce? It was all your plan? Again, I told you to hold on to your stupid son, not because I wanted to help you, but because I did not want a liability in my new home. And she was also stupid enough to poison her son at my request, huh? How much more crazy can a person be? That explains why there are no pictures or references to James' new wife on the internet. Of course there is, honey. You were just blocked out on every platform. <laughs> you are very stupid, you witch. <laughs> I think you should make this statement to yourself, darling. You are the stupid one. You would do anything I say. Yes, Becky. You fool. I hate you. <laughs> oh, but I hate you too, Ari. So much so that I have more in store for you. First, there is no such thing as an antidote for Mark's illness. What? He'll remain that way forever. Oops. How could you do that, Becky? I trusted you. Well, you shouldn't have. But that's not all. Huh? How did you get a hold of this, Becky? It's been 19 years already. Don't think I'm a fool. I know you had a son before Mark. I also know you dumped him in front of a church. I also know you never had any miscarriages. Oh, gosh. I know a heck of a lot of things, don't I? Becky... This is very wicked and evil of you. We both know I could never be more evil than you, hon. You'll always top the charts. But I can let you in on one of my own personal secrets. When I realized all the evil deeds and your insatiable lust for younger men, I decided to kill two birds with one stone. What did you do again? I found you a young man, begged you to make him your driver, and then sleep with him. Only that young man is your son. The one you left at the church 19 years ago. What did you just say? <laughs> well, let that be a little tough for you to digest. Unlike you, I have a son who is actually James's blood. He'll never need you. So do not call, reach out, or text my husband ever again. You'll pay for this, Becky. If I were you, I'd watch carefully what I say from now on. P.S. I already told Mark everything. Goodbye and stay out! I had one last encounter with Becky, and everything simply went downhill from there. It took a while for me to make peace with the fact that I'd had an affair with my first son, even though she had done it unknowingly. What was worse was that I also crippled my second son. And that was no accident. I would now have to go down the path of repentance to find closure and pay for my greed and short-sightedness. James wanted nothing to do with me. Besides, he'd gotten his way and was doing better for himself. The only thing he had to face was the guilt and sheer disgust of his actions. Mark, on the other hand, never recovered from his paralysis. However, he went ahead to chase his dreams and became a world-renowned photographer regardless of his disabilities. Turns out Becky's hands were not clean either, and it ruined her own plans to take over Nicholas's empire.